The last one, juicy watermelon. <coughs> Let's start. Hey guys, this is Alex and in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a grilled peaches, goat cheese and caramelized onions tartine or open-faced sandwich. This episode is part of a series about tartines, as known as French-inspired open-faced sandwiches. Those modern recipes are tasty, easy, healthy, and they will let you experience the taste of France wherever you are on the planet on a tight budget. Onions are the centerpiece of this tartine and also they are a staple food of French cuisine. So they are cheap, uh, full of flavors and really versatile. So they can be eaten raw, quickly pickled, stir fried or caramelized. Onions will come in different colors like yellow, the all-purpose kind, white, slightly sweeter, red, I think it's purple, but oh shut up for colorful salads, and pink, which is my secret French favorite, it's called Roscoff. Deeply peel two onions, trash the skin, but keep the outer layers to make stock of stews. Cut the onions into one centimeter thick slices, Coat a frying pan with oil and gently fry those for three to four minutes each side over medium low heat. Then add a good dash of soy sauce and lemon or you can also use balsamic vinegar. This action is called deglazing and it's supposed to unleash and unstick the caramelized bits, the flavorful bits from the bottom of the pan. Cut off the heat and let the onions cool down in the juices. Now turn the stove back on to high heat this time and place a griddle pan on it. Cut a peach into thick slices. This ripe fruit will bring acidity and juices to the tartine or open face sandwich. Coat each slice with oil and a bit of salt. Then grill them for about two minutes each side. If you don't have a griddle pan, just use some good old frying pan and a Sharpie pen like tight budget, extreme measures. Big studio update, pardon. <coughs> I'm having my breakfast at the same time and truth be told, I'm not having my breakfast on the floor. I'm having it in the most amazing kitchen island you have ever seen in your life. I built two of these massive kitchen islands which are on wheels, obviously. So confession, I might not be using my wobbly table so much anymore. It might look small on the camera, but it's not small at all. It's massive. Let me show you how big this is. Oops, merde. Also, as I made the construction, I can guarantee this is 100% solid. And also one really cool thing is that they can gather to form a bigger table. One, one, two, three, four. And this way you can have your breakfast like a king. I want some grapes. So, proud of those. Okay guys, that's it for the update. Back to the video. In a bowl, mix up a tablespoon of fresh goat cheese, a good crunch of black pepper and a bit of oil. Goat cheese is a French classic and it can be found in almost every region. Soft and fresh, creamy and soft ripened, or even drier, strong flavored and aged. Although fresh goat cheese is the mildest one, if you dislike the taste, just go for cream cheese. And do whatever you want. Just be free, man! Right, so all the ingredients are now ready. Let's tackle the bread. Place a slice of bread on a griddle pan or in a toaster on medium high heat for about two minutes each side. For the toaster, it's a, a nonsense. I am using a rustic loaf of sourdough bread. It's crispy and comforting with a fresh aftertaste thanks to the sourdough. So I'm currently editing this video, but here's a precision about gluten and sourdough. The sourdough, like yeast, uh, is used to make the bread rise. But unlike yeast, it makes the loaf easier to digest and also easier to handle for those who are gluten intolerant. 
So of course there is nothing more iconic in France than bread itself. But don't get stuck by that. I mean, don't get blocked by this ingredient. Use whatever local bread you can find. And if the feel or the texture or the crisp is different, then just embrace it. Like, for example, if it's a dense bread, then make smaller tartines and use more peaches. On the other hand, if the bread is light and crumbly, then toast it for a longer period and go easy on toppings. <clears throat> it's time to assemble this mighty open-faced sandwich. Rub the toast with an onion. So as you can see, I'm not using the classic garlic rub for mainly two reasons. First off, because I can, and also because garlic would be too strong regarding the other mild and soft flavors. Now smear a good layer of goat cheese, add peaches and onion slices, top it up with spring onions, sesame, and more black pepper. Grilled peaches, caramelized onions, and goat cheese tartine. Bread is bold, charred and crispy, but slightly still chewy in the center. Onions are sticky and rich and a bit crusty on the outside. Peaches are soft, juicy, sweet and a bit tangy. The goat cheese spread has that distinct goat flavor, but it's really kept on the soft side. Trust me, you really feel French vibes when you bite into it. <laughs> okay, it tastes good, it looks good, but what about the calories and the money? Let's do the account, shall we? So money-wise, we brilliantly stay at 1.01 euro, which is uh, 1.15 US dollar, or a ridiculous 0.79 British pound. All the prices and details are in the description box down below. Now, in terms of calories, it's really on the low side. I mean, a whole tartine, like a big one like you saw, is at uh, 380 calories. I believe it's fair considering the fact that with a bit of salad on the side, it's a full lunch. So at the end of the day, a tartine is nothing difficult. It's just selecting the right flavors and balancing them well. I really hope you like this recipe and that you will give it a try at home. Uh, if you do, please share the result on social media. It's always good for me to see that. If you do, use the hashtag spread it like butter. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye bye. Salut.